surviving every villain for my daughter, and it's gonna get extreme. Cruella, give me back my dog! No, 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 no! Give me back my dog! No, I'm lonely and I have enough Dalmatians, so I've moved on to Chihuahuas. Can't you just get a boyfriend? I only date villains, and all villains are liars. Wait, wait, wait! What if I can find you a villain that isn't? I'm listening. Rebecca knows she needs to get Blackjack back to pass this level. And she has to beat all the levels, otherwise we're gonna be trapped in here. There are six villains over there, and all of them claim to have a crush on Cruella. However, all of them are lying. They're all after my fortune. Except for one. One is telling the truth, and I am about to find out who that is. Or else you lose your dog. It's not gonna happen, Blackjack. I got you. Why is there a timer right there? Oh no, she only has an hour to get through all of these levels. Where did that come from? Hello, villains. I know all of you have a little evil in you, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to find out if you actually like Cruella. So I will be asking all of you the same question, and you have to give your most honest answer. What do you look for in a girl? Guest on like smart, honest, and funny. Wonder who that is. Can I remind you to not say your name? Guest on will not say his name. Next. Someone who comes from royalty. Thank you. Someone powerful. I need a lass who's not afraid to sail the seven seas. A lady with a sense of humor. <laughs> that is terrifying. And last but not least, number six. A hot bod. Okay, step back. That did not narrow anything down. What is Cruella's top quality? <clears throat> Gaston definitely doesn't like her money or her finances or the wealth that she carries. So then what do you like about her? Not the finances. You really couldn't go that long without saying your name. Number two. Her fashion sense. Number three. Her intelligence. Number four. Her booty. What? By which I mean her treasure. I be afraid of nothing. Oh, what is that? A crocodile! Her personality. <laughs> okay, okay, step back. You're kind of scaring me right now. Oh, she's materialistic. Why do you keep on looking at that snake? No, no. Okay, step back. Thank you. All right, villains. You've all answered my questions, and now it is time for me to eliminate two of you. I think that all of you could be lying about something, but there are two people here that are definitely only here for Cruella's money. Gaston and Captain Hook, you two are eliminated. Hey, <gasps> Gaston even changed the way he spoke. Number one and number four have officially been eliminated. There are only four left, and I know that one of those is your true love. Do you know which one it is? Hmm, didn't think so. Not yet, but I'm about to find out, and I have the perfect challenge to figure it out. Hmm, you would make an excellent scarf. This is the balloon pop challenge. All of you villains have a balloon in front of you and you know what's inside. And I'm gonna decide if I pop it or not based on if I think you're telling the truth. Let's start with you. Number six, what's inside your balloon? There's honey inside. Okay, honestly, I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna pop it. Number three, what's inside your balloon? Fart spray. Fart spray? Ew. You think it's gonna smell bad? For sure. Well, you know what? I'm not so sure that you are telling the truth, so... Oh. Glitter! You were lying, and I'm actually happy you were, but you are eliminated. Get out of here. Number two, what's inside your balloon? Just water. It's not gonna hurt you, but it will get your hair wet. Sounds like a liar to me. I'm not sure if you're lying or not, but if you are telling the truth, I do not want water on my hair right now, especially with the glitter inside, so I'm not gonna pop it. Number five, what is inside your balloon? Flower. Honestly, open I don't. It, open it, open it. I think this villain is definitely lying, so here we go. Ah! Oh my god, it's Cricket! Oh, ow! <laughs> Get out of here, Joker! Oh, I just came out of my dress! These levels are getting extreme, but the Queen of Hearts is gonna be the hardest. Number three and number five are definitely liars. There's only two guys left, which means you have a 50 50 chance, but if you get it wrong, I'm taking your dog. That's not gonna happen, Blackjack. I'm gonna come back for you. Get ready, Cruella, because I'm about to find you true love. <laughs> we'll see about that. Cruella gave me this briefcase, and it has one of two things inside, but I don't know which one it is. This is my last shot to find her true love, so I really hope it works. Congratulations, villains, on being the final two, but this final round will determine Cruella's true love. Inside this briefcase is $10,000, a small fraction of Cruella's fortune, or Dalmatian poop. I will let one of you guys look inside, and the other one will get to decide if they keep it or take it. Contestant number two, I'm gonna let you look inside. Shut the briefcase. And now, number six, you get to decide if you wanna keep the briefcase or leave it. What's inside? I wasn't sure at first, but 
It's definitely money. But you made a face at first. If you're lying to me, you're not getting any of her fortune. I swear, I was just afraid of the smell. I don't know what's inside the briefcase, but I really hope the liar is eliminated so I can get back my dog. Number six, have you made your decision? I don't think he's lying to me, so I'll decide to keep it. You think he's telling the truth? Yes, I do. Let's open it up. <gasps> he was telling the truth. Which means you get oh. Cruella's fortune. This is all I was here for. Hey, Jafar, you don't get to actually keep it on just for the challenge. Cruella's gonna kill me. Congratulations, Hans. You might be a villain, but you have been telling the truth. And now it is time for you to officially get to meet your true love. Cruella. Hello. My lady. I found you true love. Now can I have my dog? Yes, he's all yours. Good, Jack. I did it. I got you back. Oh. Oh, 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 feisty. She did it, she got Blackjack. Hey, she beat the level. Yes, come on, Rebecca. <sighs> oh no, where's Blackjack? And why am I in a wedding dress? Don't worry, Blackjack's okay, he's with us. That's not actually Blackjack. Oh my God, don't tell her. This villain level is Gaston, you need to get the rose brooch. But why am I in a wedding dress? Why didn't you tell her why she's wearing a wedding dress? Because you don't want to know. Maddie? Hello, my future bride. Me? Your bride? No, 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 you don't want to marry me. Gaston and Belle didn't work. Cruella found out that Gaston only wanted her money and now Gaston is prepared for convenience. Uh, I don't think this is the right fit. I mean, there are plenty of girls that like you. There may be so many girls that like Gaston, but Gaston doesn't like so many girls. What are you looking for in a girl? Gaston likes a girl that's smart, honest, and laughs at his jokes. <laughs> I'm definitely not all of those. Which is why I'm marrying for convenience. Okay, listen. Before we get married, what if I can find you true love? Then you can marry your true love, and maybe I can get that rose brooch. Okay, you can have the brooch, but... If not until death do us part. She has to marry him? He doesn't even have a six pack. Neither do you. Well that's not gonna happen because I'm gonna find you true love. Guess on leaves. <gasps> See if I'm not again. First I have to find love for Cruella and now Gaston. Don, this better not be all of the levels or this is gonna be challenging. Before we start with the challenges to find true love for Gaston, I wanna ask each of you, why are you guys here today? For, for Gaston. Gaston! Or you're the only sister who hasn't been married and your mother sent you here. For Gaston. This is now challenge number one. Last to laugh wins. Each of you guys will put water in your mouth. If you spit it out, you are eliminated. Rebecca, Gaston would like a word. What? Gaston wants a girl that likes his jokes. Exactly, which is why they don't know, but the last person here will be eliminated. They clearly didn't laugh at your jokes. Smart. All right, ladies, the challenge is about to begin. Please drink your water before Gaston tells his jokes. What do you call a pig that chops down trees? A pork chop. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. He's just so funny. You don't have to tell Gaston. Okay, okay, you're eliminated. It's gonna be harder than I thought. Gaston, joke number two. Gaston would tell you a joke about bad breath, but it kind of stinks. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even funny. You two eliminated. Gaston? Why did the cookie cry? Because he was feeling crummy. One. Yeah. Why are none of these jokes funny? Maybe you should try a library and get some better jokes, Gaston. Gaston knows that libraries are for books and not for jokes. Okay, okay. You know what, Gaston? Just cool off here. Be right back. It's down to two girls, and one of the girls is so much different than the others, and even though she might not like Gaston, I think I need to keep her in, so she's not laughing at his jokes, so I'm gonna make her laugh regardless. All right, Gaston. I'm waiting to hear your next joke. What did the finger say to the nose? Stop picking on me. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, it's called a joke. I didn't even think that was funny. That was a dumb joke. She said while laughing. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but it looks like I was the winner, so do I get a first kiss? Uh, actually, uh, you're eliminated. What? what? Sorry. <gasps> what? Oh, sorry. Gaston. Do you see why Gaston doesn't like all girls? This is truth or dumb. Gaston loves a girl that's honest, so I'm gonna ask you a question, and if you don't answer it, you get why did your last relationship not work out? Because he cheated on me and he wasn't loyal like Gaston. Gaston also cheats, Dunker. What? No, that's not the. You're safe. Thank you for no. your candor and being honest. Stay focused. When is the last time you saw your ex? Answer the question. Spit it out. Looks like it's a dog. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, you didn't answer the question. Next! What do you look for in a guy? Oh, someone that protects me, like a stun. Oh, kind of hurt, but I'm fine. Okay, you answered. This is harder than I thought. All the girls are obsessed with him. Have you ever kissed a man with long hair? No, but I'd like to. Guess time will fix okay, that. Okay, 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 not Zappity, no. <gasps> Focus. What have been here for? Do you like Gaston? What do you think? I think that you should answer the question for everybody. Gaston doesn't like this answer. What? Ah! I answered the question. No, you didn't. You were yeah. beating around the bush. It could have been better. Okay, maybe you don't always get the answer you like, Gaston. Ah! That one girl does not like Gaston. Here. I don't need to tell him not what. Not for you, for her. She just got dumped. I'm supposed to find true love, but he doesn't seem interested in any of them. What am I gonna do? I don't want to get married, and I need to get that brooch if I want to move to the next level. Thanks. Wait, is that the little dipper? The big dipper. Even better. I agree. It is now time to eliminate one more girl. And the person I- Gaston will be doing the elimination. You leave. Who? Toodle-doo, purple dress. Good stone. Okay, everyone else, head inside for the next challenge. You as well, Gaston. Zamfam, I was not expecting that. I thought he was going to eliminate the last girl. I have no idea what happened, but all I know is there are four girls left, and hopefully one of them is his true love. Do you think she's there? Congratulations on moving on to tea time, ladies. Please grab a cupcake or a pastry that you'd like. Now for this next challenge, Gaston likes a woman that is smart, so I'm gonna have him come in and ask you some questions. Gaston would like to know, what is the last book that you've read? Romeo and Juliet. It's an epic love story, just like mine and Gaston. Did they both end up dead? Next. I read so many books, but the latest on my shelf is Three Little Pigs. What? I've heard of that one. Yes, it's a children's book. Children read it. No, it's for all ages. Yes, good. Okay, next. I've read A Tale of Two Cities, but I only think of the best of times with my Gaston. She sounds like the rest of them. Next. I read Little Women. I like to read literature that shows women breaking societal norms. That's a lot of words for you. Did you get that? Yeah, it's something about... Women. Okay, next question. Gaston would like to know what you would cook him on our first date. Pancakes. Ooh, ask if there's gonna be syrup and like powdered sugar. Will there be syrup and powdered sugar? Sure. Okay. I'm thinking a delicious cheese souffle. Never had that. Me neither, but I'm ready. Next. I would love to make you beef ragu with pasta. Ooh, that feels a little heavy. I don't know what ragu is. Last. I'd actually prefer if you cooked for me. <gasps> Gaston does not cook. Neither do I. Then it looks like we'll be starving for our our first date. Great. Okay, I think you have another question. And lastly, what is your favorite thing about Gaston? This one might take a while. His muscles, of course. I can tell he goes to the gym all the time. Whoa, what was that? I couldn't hear you over the gun show. Um, I would probably say his voluminous hair. What shampoo do you use? Poor shampoo. It's the only thing that can tame this mane. That's disgusting. I love his smile. It's so blinding. I didn't even realize I was smiling. I really hope I don't have to marry him. Last and possibly least. Well, I don't like that he's entirely self-absorbed and I think it's really weird he talks in the third person. Gaston does not do that. Okay, but what do you like about him? I guess he's smart engineer. Oh, Gaston didn't catch that. I said you're smart Oh, Gaston's hair must have been in the way. Please say it one more time. You're smart. And interesting. She thinks Gaston is smart and interesting, which Gaston already knew. That is what I'm talking about. Stop saying Gaston. You can't even take a compliment. Gaston is repeating what you just told me. Exactly. Just say thank you, yes. Gaston. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's time for the challenge. Girls, I'm tying you all up. What? Let's see how smart you guys are now. Last to escape is eliminated. You guys can start. Don't you always pack a pocket knife? I'm out. There's only two left. One of you guys is going to be eliminated. Gaston! Gaston, come help. Okay. Come help. No, Gaston. It's up to them to get out. You have to see if they're smart on their own. A damsel in distress. Oh, I'm free. I'm free. No. No, Gaston. I'm sorry, but you are the last to escape, which means you are eliminated. But first, a kiss. What? No, Gaston, you need to trust the process, okay? I'll get you out. Thanks. There. It's not that hard. This is the speed dating round. Each of you will have one minute with Gaston where Gaston will be 
asking you questions, you'll be able to show him why he should pick you. Gaston wants to know what you like doing. Well, whatever you like doing, of course. Let's move on. So Gaston wants to know, what do you love? Oh my, there's so much to love. There's the air, the sky, you. You can trust me, I will do whatever you want. Just marry me, take me to the altar. I will give you so Rebecca! many babies. No, please, oh, so please. Come on. Oh. Gaston is so confused. Why? Gaston thought he knew what he wanted in a girl, but maybe he doesn't. Maybe you need to be open to trying something different. Something convenient. No! Next girl! I really hope this last girl works out. I know that she's not like anything he's had before, but maybe that's the change he needs. Gaston wants to know why you came here. Well, my mother sent me here because I'm the only one out of my three sisters who hasn't been married. And why aren't you married? I've met so many men who want to control me. I don't want to be controlled. I want a guy who listens to me, who treats me as an equal, and supports me. Well, Gaston... I want to know why you haven't left yet. I'm not sure. Well, it looks like time is up, Gaston. I hope you're ready to make your decision. Gaston, it all comes down to this. I have narrowed it down to three girls. And now you get to decide if you'd like to marry me for convenience or take a shot at true love. I choose. You, Rebecca. What? No! No, you can't do that! No! She's not gonna beat the level! He's gonna marry my wife! I was just kidding, I wanted to see how you would react. <laughs> I actually choose if she wants to, her. It's up to you. You can always say no. Just follow your heart. Yes, I'd like that very much. Thank God! In the best way possible, this is true love right here! Since you did find true love, do you think I could get that rose? Yeah, but my hands are kind of busy. No problem. I did it! I got the rose brooch! She did it! Yes! The rose brooch is gone! This villain level is Maleficent. You need to get the green orb to move on to the next one. Maleficent, green orb. Got it. There you are, Rebecca. I need your help. Sure. What do you need, Maleficent? I need you to get Aurora downstairs. She's mad at me for not letting her go outside. Why can't she go outside? Because someone's after this. I didn't give it to them, so they poisoned something out there, and until I figure out what it is, it's not safe for her. Okay, if she did get poisoned, what would happen? She would die. The only way to reverse it is if someone sacrifices themselves. Why don't you just tell her that? I'm sure if she knew that, she'd understand why she can't go outside. No! Promise me you will not talk to her about that. Just tell her I have her favorite ice cream sundae down here. Get her down, and this is yours. It can't be that hard. Aurora? Hey. Who are you? My name is Rebecca, and Maleficent sent me up here because she has your favorite ice cream sundae downstairs, and she wants you to come down so you can eat it. There's a Zam Fam diary in the program? Kind of looks like your new diary. Give that back! You guys can get one of these at RebeccaZamillo.com. Hurry before they're sold out! Good thing there's a lock on it. I'm not going downstairs until she lets me outside. Okay, well, maybe you can just eat the ice cream and talk to her then. I'm not talking to her. She just wants to punish me for not being like her. She's a villain. I'm not. She likes black. I like pink. We're nothing alike. That is true, you guys are very different, but I'm sure she has her reasons for not wanting you to go outside, so maybe you can just talk to her about it. Listen, I'm not going downstairs. Can you just leave? I'm trying to write in my diary. That's what you want. Why doesn't Rebecca just tell her what Maleficent said? Because she made a promise, Matt. I wish I could just tell her why Maleficent won't let her go outside, but I promised I wouldn't, so I need to come up with something that kids love that would bring her downstairs. I know something that every kid loves. I got these ingredients from downstairs, and I know that when she sees this, she's gonna wanna come downstairs and make some of her own, you guys. Comment below if you know what I am making. She loves pink, so we're gonna make this pink. Aurora, look what I have. I love slime. I had a feeling you did. Now look at this slime. Look how pretty it is. You can make slime too if you come downstairs because that's where all the ingredients are. I'm not going downstairs and I don't want to make slime anymore. It'll ruin my gloves. But there's so many ingredients. I mean, I even have stuff for glitter slime, cloud slime, butter slime. I want to write in my diary. Fine. I cannot believe the slime did not work. Nothing she likes is working. So maybe I need to do something that she wouldn't like. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm writing in my diary. I'm writing in my diary. Stop copying me. Stop copying me. This is annoying. This is annoying. Why don't you just leave? Why don't you just leave? You know what? I'm gonna break a rule then. You know what? I'm gonna break a rule then. You're gonna break the bed. You're gonna break the bed. You're being annoying. You're being annoying. Why are you copying me? Why are you copying me? You know what? Two can play at this game. I'm Sleeping Beauty and I'm going to sleep. You know what? Two can play at this game. I'm Sleeping Beauty and I can go to sleep. Now she's asleep. What am I supposed to do now? I can't get into 
her brain, but I could get into her diary. Then I can see what she's thinking and maybe that will help me get her downstairs. If she's still asleep, this might work. Dear Diary, Maleficent is so strict. All my friends get to do things except for me. I'm the only girl in school who can't go to a sleepover. It's not fair. I don't understand why she does it. Maybe she hates me. Aurora thinks Maleficent hates her. Hey, why are you reading my diary? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Okay, I did mean to. Aurora, I was just trying to understand why you're staying up here. And I think I understand. My mom was really strict growing up and it was really hard, especially when other girls could do things that I couldn't do. But what I learned is you can either be sad about it and sit in a room all day, or you can make the best of it. And that would mean eating that ice cream sundae downstairs. You know what? Maybe I do want ice cream. Let's get some ice cream, Aura. Come on. Here you go, Aurora. Ice cream sundae. Worth coming out of your room, I'd say. Thanks for caring about me. It means a lot. Well, I'm just glad you got your ice cream sundae. Rebecca, I see you at Aurora downstairs, which means this is yours. Uh, you did it for Maleficent? Not you don't care about me? I, no, I, I do, I do. I mean, I. it's complicated, okay? I promise, I meant everything I said. I'm done. What? I'm going outside. What? No! No! Aurora, get back here! No! Hey! Oh no, she went outside! If something happens to her, I will never forgive myself. <sighs> Nothing's gonna happen! We're gonna get her! Come on! Aurora! 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 There's no pulse! Maleficent! Something happened to her! The flower. It must have been poisoned and she smelled it. Well, what do we do? How do we save her? I need you to get four white roses. Okay, where are they? That way. Okay, I'll be back! White roses? I need the green orb, but I cannot let anything happen to Aurora! Three, four! I bought more than four roses just in case! Aurora! You're okay! What did you do? How did you get rid of the spell? I did what I had to do. <gasps> Maleficent, are you okay? What's wrong? Wait, to bring someone back, you had to sacrifice someone else. You sacrificed yourself! I'm sorry, I always thought you were punishing me for not being like you. You saved me. I don't want to lose you. I'm sorry. Maleficent sacrificed herself for Aurora! She really does care about her! Are you crying? Leave me, stop it! Don't worry, we're gonna figure something out, okay? Someone's gonna be here soon to take this. You must take it with you. I'll take this, but first I want to make sure you're okay, Maleficent. <gasps> Rebecca, you need to go! Someone's coming! Give me the orb! Run! Go. Dang it! She got the orb! I'm so sorry! This villain level is safe from Toy Story. You need to get the heart necklace. Sorry about that! Jesse, have you by any chance seen a heart necklace? Nope, I haven't. I haven't seen it. I haven't. No! Barbie, what's that around your neck? My heart necklace. Oh, Barbie, do you think I could have that heart necklace? Of course, Bo Peep. She's coming! Everyone down! Zadie is Sid! She took Barbie away! And the heart necklace! Oh no! Sid took Barbie! We have to save her! To infinity and beyond! No, she's in the kitchen. Let's mosey over that way. What's she doing? Maybe she's playing with her. Don't be silly. She hasn't played with that Barbie for six months. This could be worse than I thought. She's taking her away. Where's she taking her? Oh no. Toy jail! What's toy jail? It's where toys go to die. Then we have to save her. Come on, you guys. Oh no, Barbie is in toy jail. And she's locking her up. Sid's leaving. Now's her chance. To infinity and toy jail. Barbie, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of here. But it's locked. We need to find the key. It's around Sid's neck. It's neck. So once we get the key, we can save Barbie. Let's come up with a plan where we all work together, toys. There's only one sheriff in town, Woody, reporting for duty. What? I'll be back. What's he gonna do? I have a bad feeling. Oh, oh no! Sid has Woody now too, you guys. Get back, get back. Oh no, now Woody and Barbie are both stuck in toy jail. That's what Woody gets for doing it all on his own. Rebecca's not gonna beat this level. Sid keeps on taking all the toys to toy jail. Then we're gonna be trapped in here forever. We should just give up. We're all gonna end up in toy jail. We just need to come up with a plan. I think I have one. Come on. All right, but people, what's the plan? I need you guys to be taken by Sid. What? <laughs> then we're definitely going to toy jail. Well, people, you've lost your sheep and your brains. Okay, listen. I need her to pick you guys up so she's distracted, and then I'm gonna use my staff to get the key off her neck. But what if she puts us in toy jail? Then at least I'll have the key and I'll be able to get all of you guys out. Are you sure it'll work? Well, I'm. <gasps> Sid's coming! Oh no, we have no choice, you guys. Sid's coming down. She's grabbing Jesse and Buzz. Now is my chance to get the key. Oh, come on. Come on. Almost there. Oh, oh, I got it. 
Rebecca got the key. Uh, now she just cannot get caught by Sid. And she's with Jesse and Buzz in jail. Hopefully this key works and I can save all of my friends and get the necklace. Come on, Rebecca! I got it! Come out! I told you guys I would not let you stay into a jail. Thank you, Bo Of course. And Barbie, do you think I could get that heart necklace now? What heart necklace? The one around on your neck. The uh, neck. Of course. Thank you guys. I'll never forget you. She's coming! Go, go! She got the necklace! Well, we're halfway there now. It's the Wicked Witch. Come on! There you are, Dorothy. What? Scarecrow! Lion! Tin Man! I'm in the Wizard of Oz! Ah! <laughs> Rebecca, Rebecca, if you ever want to leave Oz, you have to complete all three of my challenges on the Yellow Big Road and get my hat in the Emerald City. <laughs> What's wrong, Dorothy? The witch just told me how I can get out of Oz. Oh, the witch! She's so scary! Yeah, well, I have to beat her if I want to get out of here. We can help you, but I don't have a heart. I don't have a brain. I'm a little bit afraid, but we can help! I think we have to follow the yellow brick road. 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 Stop! Ah! That lion is handsome. Scaredy cat. I think this is our first challenge. It says don't choose the wrong door. Everyone must choose a door to open. There's no way I'm going first. I'll go first, but then you have to go second. Okay. Thanks, Scarecrow. Be careful. What are we doing? Choosing a door to open. <gasps> Come on. Red. <laughs> Scarecrow, are you okay? Yeah, that was a lot of, what was that? Wind? Wind. It was like a tornado. Don't worry, Lion. I Pretty sure that every door is different. And you're up next. Dorothy, let's do this. Wait, it's not my turn, Lion. It's yours. I'm gonna go with the spotted door. One, two. Come on. Three. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my it's God. Fake, it's a fake spider. Oh, Look, thank goodness. It's not real. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I think he's getting better. I guess I'll go next. If I would have had a heart, I would have been scared, but I don't feel anything. The green door's the only one left, and if I do this, then we complete the first challenge. So here we go. Ah! 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 Get off me! Get off my ah! 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 The clown's gone! That was my biggest fear. What just happened? The lion protected Rebecca from the clown? How courageous! Thank you so much, lion. You saved me. Ugh, curses. She may have gotten through the clown, but there's no way she'll get through the next two of my challenges. <laughs> we completed the first challenge. Let's follow the yellow brick road to the next one. Follow the, the yellow, yellow brick, brick road. road. The next challenge. Don't pop the water balloon challenge. Take turns sitting under the water balloon until it pops. I'll go first. What? No, Tin Man, you can't. If you get water on you, you'll rust and you won't be able to move. But I want to help in some way. You can hold the balloon and the three of us will do the challenge. Right? Yeah. Yes. Ooh, that was supposed to get rid of Tin Man. Oh well, he still doesn't have a heart anyway. <laughs> Guess I'll do this. Uh, oh. Oh, that was terrifying. You're up, Scarecrow. Oh. Lion. I got this. Ain't nothing to be scared of. I'm from the rainforest, that never hurt me. I think there's something on you. Ah! Oh! No, 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 it was just water, sorry about that. It looks like we completed another challenge, which means we're one step closer to getting to the Emerald City and defeating the Wicked Witch. Ah! We can do this together. Follow the yellow brick. Uh, Rebecca needs to get through these challenges faster. She's running out of time. Come on, you guys, we have to hurry. Lollipop dipping challenge, it's the next one. It says pick a side and dip your lollipop. One side is good and one side is bad. Something bad? I'll go first. I have my lollipop and now I need to pick a side. I'm gonna do this side because it's the right side. Right side. Oh, I hope it's not something gross, Scarecrow. Time to find out. What is this? <gasps> with cream. If that was the good item, then what was the bad item? Lion, do you want to go next? Not really! Lion, everyone has to go. You'll be good. Pick a side. I want to go this side. Just remember, it could be a good item. <gasps> Ketchup! My favorite. Let's get a big bite of this one. Hot sauce! <laughs> oh, no! No! You got a bad item. Are you okay? I guess it's my turn. 
It's strawberry sauce. But I don't know if that's good or bad because I don't have a heart. Tin Man, don't worry, you'll get your feelings. And that is a good flavor. You picked the right side. I'm the only one left. I have to choose a side, but I don't know which one to choose. You should choose the side I chose. Why? Because that has always had the good items. Scarecrow, you're right. Every flavor that's been bad was on one side and the good ones. I think I'm gonna go with what you said, Scarecrow, and dip mine into this. Oh, oh, it's very squishy. Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna look because if it's bad, I don't wanna know. Mm. Oh my gosh, with cream and caramel sauce. I did it, you did it. We did it, you guys, we completed the third and final challenge. Now let's get to Emerald City. Perfect. They got through that challenge. They got through all of my challenges. I curse the petals that in Oz run deep and I'll put them into a very long sleep. <laughs> to the Emerald City. The Emerald City. What was that? I'm getting tired. Yeah. Oh no, it must be Sleep Cloud. Sorry everyone, I had to oil my knees. Oh no, are they dead? They protected me during the water challenge. They've been such great friends, and I wish there was something that I could do to help. Uh, what's going on? How did that happen? Tin Man, you saved us, what did you do? All I did was cry. That must have reversed the sleep cloud spell. Curses! How was that possible? He had tears? He didn't even have a heart! You think you can get my hat, but you'll be surprised. I always win. Now we can defeat the Wicked Witch once and for all. I don't think we can. I'm not courageous enough. And I don't have a brain. And I still don't have a heart. Scarecrow, you were the first one to figure out the pattern in the lollipop challenge. You wouldn't have been able to figure that out if you didn't have a brain. And Tin Man, when you saw us on the ground, you got upset and started crying. You wouldn't have cried if you didn't have a heart and cared about us. And finally, Lion, clowns are my biggest fear. And you're afraid of everything, yet you still attack that clown so they wouldn't hurt me. And that showed a great amount of courage. And now that you know you have a brain, Scarecrow, you're a courageous lion and you have a heart, Tin Man. It's time for us to defeat the Wicked Witch once and for all. We just have to figure out how to do it. Water. Water kills the Wicked Witch? Yes. But we don't have any, Tin Man. You cried once. Do you think you could cry again? I can sure try. Just think of something sad. You're doing a great job, Tin Man. Wow, Tin Man, you did it. That's a lot of water. What did you think about? I thought about losing you guys. Ah. Well, that's not gonna happen. It's time to take on the Wicked Witch in the Emerald City. Wicked Witch? Wicked Witch? Where is she? She said she's in the Emerald City. Huh. Rebecca, Rebecca. <laughs> you thought you could one-up me, but you will never get my hat. You will never win this round. I always win. <laughs> You're wrong, Wicked Witch. It's your time to die! <laughs> She's melting! <gasps> She's gone. Her hat. This is what I needed. You guys have been great friends, but I have to go. We understand. You have to go home. Just say it three times. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Ah! She's gone! I didn't think it would actually happen! Ah! Tell me where I can find Peter Pan, or you walk the plank. I don't know where he is! This villain is Captain Hook. You have to get his spy glass. In a hurry, you only have 15 minutes left. Wait, I know where he is! Okay, I'm listening. If I tell you where Peter is, will you give me your spyglass? The only way you'll get this is if I leave Neverland, which we all know will never happen. So tell me, where is Peter Pan? Or ye will walk the plank. Uh, well, he's, uh... I am right here, Hook! <laughs> Follow me, Wendy! What? I'm not Wendy! Peter Pan! <gasps> Peter! Wendy! I'm not Wendy. Of course you are. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm Wendy. Who are you guys? I'm Toodles. I'm Nibs. I'm Darling. I'm Curly. And I'm the one and only Peter Pan! And this is... Neverland! This place looks amazing and fun, but I actually have to get a spyglass and I'm running out of time. There's no time in Neverland. Maybe we found the spyglass. Come over here. Are any of these the spyglass? We found them all today. No, Hook actually has the spyglass I'm looking for. <gasps> What? You can't defeat him on your own. He'll make you walk the plank again. What is going on here? Uh, hello? Okay, we'll help you. But first, you need to train. Train? If you're gonna defeat Captain Hook, you have to learn how to use a bow and arrow. I don't think I can do that. Just look at the target and let go. Ah! Oh no, it fell over! 
Sure. Don't worry. I'm just glad we're helping you. Be Captain Hook. You need to know how to sword fight. Oh, I'm not good at this. Ah! Oh, not good enough. You gotta think fast if you're gonna defeat Hook. What? How'd you get there? It's easy. You just gotta think before they did. Hey, where did you go? Hello? Ah! Hey, man, you have reflexes like a kid. I was gonna say cat. I'm gonna teach you how to trap someone. Walk over there. I don't know why I need to walk over here. Ah! 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 <sighs> you kidding me? Keep your eyes open. Anything to be a trap. Did a kid just outsmart me? Captain Hook hates water balloons, so just keep throwing till it falls down. Oh, God! Oh, yeah! Wendy, your training is over. Okay, so do you guys think I'm ready? No. But it's time to defeat Hook and get that spyglass. Yeah! yeah! We got this! I don't think Rebecca's ready to take on Hook. Well, she has no other choice. She has to get that spyglass because we're going to be trapped in here forever. I hate this place. Okay, Zam fam, those kids have way more skills than me. I just don't know if it's going to be enough. There's one thing we have, and that's Peter Pan. You guys, there's Hook. Let's knock him out with these water balloons. Ready? Go. Ah! Yeah. Oh, no, it didn't work. I got this. Wait, Peter forgot his sword. We meet again, Captain Hook. <laughs> Peter Pan without his sword, you're mine! Oh, no! Help me! Help! Oh no, Hook took Peter! No! They got Peter Pan! There's no way she's getting the spyglass now! Who's gonna be our leader now? What? Uh, huh? Let's get back to the hideout! Come on! What are we gonna do? We need to save Peter Pan! And get the spyglass! Since I am the leader, I think we need to just figure out Captain Hook's strengths and weaknesses. What are his strengths? He's super strong and he has a sword. Okay, and his weaknesses? Um, something? He has a hook? But there must be something else that like scares him or something. Wait a sec. In the dating game with Cruella. Dating game? Anyways, he said that he was scared of a crocodile. Oh, the crocodile. He hasn't been here in months though. Over here, you guys. You guys have this inflatable crocodile. And he found a pocket watch. It makes a tick. All right, you guys. I need you to take the crocodile and put it in the water, and I will take care of everything else, okay? Lost kids on three. One, two, three. Lost kids! Don't get that crocodile! Let's end hook! Go! I hope I can do this. Looks like you're walking the plank, Peter Pan. Wait, what's that sound? What is that? It looks like it's the crocodile, Captain Hook. No, no, no! And I'm here now, Captain Hook. And if you do not give me back Peter Pan and the spyglass, then I will push you in there with the crocodile and you're gonna lose your other hand. No, no, take it. Go. But I'll be back, I'll be back. Good, Good job, Wendy. She outsmarted Hook and saved Peter Pan. We did it, you guys. We defeated Captain Woo! Hook. Please stay with us, Wendy. I wish I could, but I have somewhere I have to be. Don't worry, it's not goodbye. It's I'll see you later. <laughs> and it's gonna be the hardest. You need to get the last white rose. You did it. You killed my sister. Off with her head. What? No, I didn't kill anyone. I just got here. If you didn't, then someone else did. You have 20 minutes to find out who killed my sister or it's off with your head. And if I figure it out, can I have the last white rose? Fine. Let's do some challenges. Oh, no time for challenges. No time for challenges. Who killed the White Queen? I told the White Queen she was running out of time. She should have listened to me. Interesting. So, so. Oh, stop doing that, Cheshire Cat. Isn't it interesting the White Queen was wearing white just like you? Look at your face, Mad Hatter. I guess we should both be scared. She's still alive. No, she's dead. You did it. No, you did it. No, you did it. I know you did it. No, you did it. No, you did it. I did it. No, I did it. If Rebecca doesn't find the killer, then she won't get the last White Rose. And we're going to be stuck in the program forever. All right, all right. Welcome to challenge number one, the envelope challenge here in Wonderland. Each of you will have five seconds to grab an envelope, and you must do whatever's inside. Except you're not just grabbing an envelope. You're going to have to do it with this rubber band. Bad Hatter, you seem to be kind of sus. <laughs> Why don't you go first? All right, Bad Hatter. Oh. One, two. Shame head. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this, Mad Hatter? One, two, I get to. <laughs> oh. 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 If you would do this, why wouldn't you kill the white? So 
How does it look? Uh, not great. Oh, thank you so much. I I'm gonna go look at my new hairstyle. Cheshire your cat, why don't you go? Get set, go! One, two, three! That was way too easy for you. Reflexes of a cat. <laughs> Empty pockets? <laughs> There's a note here. I don't like the white queen. What about you? I didn't write that. Someone gave it to me. Who gave it to you? It wasn't me. It was you, you gave it to him. You probably gave no, it to him. You. You. I know you wrote it. You. Check out cat. We're trying to figure out who killed the white queen. Who gave you this note? Well. Alice? That doesn't mean that I would kill the white queen. I think you need to go next. Okay, we definitely only need one of you holding this. Yeah, she, she wanted me. She wanted me to go next. Alice, just go. What? Come on. Someone's counting time! 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 time. I did it! You barely did it! Chug water! At least you'll be hydrated! Chug! 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 Money? <gasps> Those are Wonderland books. Well, I can't really use this. Wonderland books? Uh, move! What? It's mine! It's mine! No, it's mine! No, no! Mine. no. Mine. You ruined it! You ruined it! You ruined it! Okay, you okay, okay, you know what? You it's mine! Mind. It's mine! You guys are up! Time starts now! I want this one! one. That one! Two! Yeah. Yeah. Go that side! Three. Go that side! Four! Five. Five. Five! Fine! You guys can do two. Now you both! Do what's inside both of the envelopes. I'll go no, first. I'll go I get to go first. Mystery drink. Here is your mystery drink. Enjoy. I go first. Fine. You go at the same time. Okay. Ew! Oh, that's that's so tasty. Gross. You don't you know, like it? That's the grossest thing I've you're ever You're so tasted. annoying. It's delicious. You're so annoying. You're annoying. Okay. No, you're you know annoying. What? We have you're another annoying. envelope. They're exhausting. Imposter challenge. Actually, that means all of us are doing this challenge. This is the imposter challenge. All of these spoons have frosting on them, but one has mayo. We have to try to figure out which person ate the mayo. Everyone, grab a spoon. We're eating at the same time. And, all right, everyone eat. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's mayonnaise and I love it. He could be lying, he's mad. In fact, there's a spoon here. Oh, that's the mail. One spoon wasn't eaten. Who didn't eat theirs? We, we shared. shared. Doesn't make sense. Alice isn't here. Alice? Where is Alice? I don't know, but she's late. She went to the bathroom. Alice? Alice? <gasps> Somebody here did this. I saw a white rabbit standing by the bathroom when Alice was in there. I was only keeping track of the time. Mad Hatter also went to the bathroom. That means that the killer is still here. Alice is dead, and we need to figure out who did it. Everyone to the bathroom. I think the Mad Hatter is the killer. He's the only one that was in the bathroom. Uh, no, it's the White Rabbit. He was standing right next to the bathroom. Sam Fam, did I miss something? Someone here killed Alice and the White Queen. I need to figure out who it is, and I am running out of time. This is the teacup balancing challenge. Each of us will draw a body part from this bowl, and we will have to balance the teacup on that body part for 10 seconds. Otherwise, you are eliminated. We play until there is a winner. Everyone, dig in. <laughs> Shoulder. Back. Foot. Head. Arm. All right, balance on the body part. One, two, three, uh, four, five, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tweedledee and Dumb, you are eliminated. Have either of you two fought with the White Queen? No. Yes. yes. No. Yeah. We haven't. Yes, no. We have. No. We haven't. Uh, are you guys hiding no, something? We haven't. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. No, no we haven't. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Round two. We have two teacups. Everyone, draw a body part. Back. Foot. Stomach. Nose. On your marks. Get set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cheshire Cat and White Rabbit, you two are eliminated. So Cheshire Cat, who is your best friend in Wonderland? She's not here anymore. It was the White Queen. How did you do that? White Rabbit, who do you trust the least here? Oh, Mad Hatter, he's no concern for time. Do you think he could have killed the White Queen? He could have done anything. I'm bored, let's do another challenge. <laughs> okay, yes, let's head inside. Oh, we must pick these up, oh, we've no time. This is Don't Sink the Cup Challenge. Whoever loses this challenge will pick last in the next challenge. I will go first. <laughs> it's always time for tea. Okay. That was close. 
Okay, who's next? Well, my turn. <gasps> Tweedledee and Tweedledum, I'm sorry you two lost, which means you have last pick in the next challenge. Rebecca is running out of time until she has to make her final accusation. Just accuse the Mad Hatter, it's obviously him! This is the Willy Cotton Candy Challenge. We each get to pick a candy and see if it will cotton candy, but Tweedledee and Tweedledum, you get to pick last. Yes, I'm going with Jolly Ranchers. Candy cane. I'm such a skittle. All right, you two. I don't want that one. Well, I want this one. I don't. Well, you grabbed it, so that's the one you get. I feel like their mom. I'm going first with Jolly Ranchers. Let's see if it will cotton candy. Oh, I think mine's cotton candy. Oh my gosh, look at this. Not a lot, but it did cotton candy. Mmm, it's really good. All right, Mad Hatter. Oh. It is cotton candy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Do you think that Peppermint candy canes will actually cotton candy. It is cotton candy! Whoa! Minty. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, dump your Kool-Aid in. Be careful, don't touch the top. Oh, it is cotton candy! It looks good. Give me some, give me some. I want a piece. Oh, it's mine. Oh, Oh, no! Tweedledee, Tweedledum! You killed them! I didn't do you it! It could have been either one of you guys! Time's up! Head to the green wall to make your accusation. I have to make a decision. I hope I can do this. So who is it? Make your accusation. Well, the Mad Hatter is a little bit crazy, Ooh. but he wasn't around Alice when she died. He was the first to go inside after the challenge when the White Rabbit was killed, so he couldn't have done that either. And the Cheshire Cat, the White Queen is the Cheshire Cat's best friend. And best friends don't kill each other. So, oh, hurry up. I'm getting bored. So I think that the person who killed your sister is neither of them. It's you. You did it, Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Congratulations, Rebecca. I did kill my stupid sister. In fact, I killed everyone at this tea party. I waited for poor little Alice in the bathroom. And then I caught that silly little rabbit out in the yard after everyone left. And then I poisoned stupid Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Why did you kill your own sister? There can only be one queen. The last white rose. Which is interesting, because whoever has the last white rose has all the power. Go! from this one.